talk about other modality of treatment of cancer, which is the radiotherapy. Radiotherapy is an important modality for treatment of cancer. What do we what do we mean by radiotherapy? Radiotherapy is the use of ionizing radiation to treat malignancy. Uh, and radiotherapy can be given in different uh, conditions, including benign conditions. It can be given an, an external source or an internal source. It can be in a fluid form, like re radioactive uh, uh, iodine for ablation of uh, thyroid tissue. Uh, but we mainly concentrate on external beam radiation, which is needed for the management of uh, Solid tumor. Uh, the indication of radiotherapy, either it will be the treatment for a, ma a malignant disease for the sake of a cure of, the, of those tumors, or it will be a sort of palliative treatment in order to control certain symptoms affecting the uh, patient. It can be in conjunction with other modality, like the chemotherapy and the surgery. And sometimes we use the radiotherapy uh, intracavitary, either in the cesium or radium implant in the bed of the tumor, which emits radiation to the tumor itself, reducing the side effect around. This is this term called radio uh, therapy. And uh, radio, radiotherapy, as we said, there are tumors which are quite sensitive to the radiotherapy, and we can use radiotherapy as the only modality for the treatment of uh, these cancers. Uh, head and neck cancer is known, basically the squamous cell type, which is the commonest type in the head and neck, uh, is very responsive to the radiotherapy, so that we can uh, use radiotherapy to treat those without doing the surgery. And the main advantage of this is to preserve the function of the uh, organs in the hip and neck area. For example, typical example, when a doctor explaining, surgeon explaining what he's going to do for a tumor in the floor of the mouth, he's going to tell the patient the details. He will say that I will split your lip, I will cut through your mandible and I will open your oral cavity and I will excise the tumor and after that I will do radical neck dissection for you and I will put a flap and I will put you all together later on. Okay, so that the patient, once he started to, to hear this uh, terrible uh, procedure, he starts just to, to see where is the door and he exposes the radiotherapy. However, the radiotherapy is not superior to the surgery and the management of those cases. Uh, also, uh, lymphomas are very responsive to chemotherapy, uh, sorry, for the radiotherapy, mainly the Hodgkin and non-Hodgkin lymphoma, but now usually only needed for a stage one, a probably stage 1A, where there are no symptoms that people could refer to use the uh, radiotherapy for management of lymphoma. But otherwise, usually, even if there is no evidence of the disease elsewhere, the medical oncologist, they use the treatment by chemotherapy with a great success in many of them. One of the major areas of development in the management of anal cancer is the use of radiotherapy and probably a chemotherapy. You know that a patient having a tumor in the anal area, the classical treatment is to remove the anus so that he will have diversion of his uh, bowel uh, as a colostomy so that he will, this will change the lifestyle of those people. So that now the use of chemo and radiotherapy will effectively cure those patients with anal cancer, not lower rectum, but the anal cancer, so that the patient will preserve the function as well as having a long-term survival. And also squamous cell and basal cell carcinomas of the skin are very, effect very effectively treated by radiotherapy. Uh, but melanoma, it is very resisting to the chemotherapy so that there is no option to use uh, radiotherapy in melanoma.
uh, now the judgment whether to use radiotherapy or surgery. For example, if we have a skin lesion, we can do simple surgery by excising this one bone, okay, and we will do reconstruction. And this is typically important in the face. If the patient having basal cell carcinoma can be treated by radiotherapy. But if it is around the nose, it probably this will cause a problem to the eye. It will lead to cataract. It needs repeated sessions. While the surgery is a one go. Okay? So that for a small tumor, a small surgery will do the trick. So that's why to use the radiotherapy. In a very big tumor, okay, we know from the biology that big tumors they don't respond fully to the radiotherapy. So that it may be used in conjunction with surgery. For intermediate lesions, and let us say a tumor of two to three centimeter in an area where surgery is difficult, probably the use of radiotherapy is an option. Also, the radiotherapy can be used for palliation. Okay, what do, what do we mean by this? As we said, that palliation is very important in the management of cancer in general. Patients who develop more bone metastasis, and they may have a pathological fracture, and this may lead to compression to the spinal cord. And those people usually suffer from severe pain. Isolated radiotherapy, small amount of radiotherapy to the painful side will improve the situation of the patient. So that it is very useful to treat localized areas by radiotherapy which will reduce the pain. Patients who develop spinal cord compression due to collapse of, these, uh, of the vertebrae, uh, probably those people, if they are not fit for surgery, you may use uh, radiotherapy. The, the radiotherapy will stop the malignant process there, and probably it may save the function of the uh, spinal cord. But usually, we resort to uh, doing surgery plus minus radio and chemotherapy in those people. And this is very serious, as we said, it's an oncological emergency. It needs uh, very rapid action. If you have a patient like this, you have to have a high degree of suspicion with early symptoms in his lower limbs or change in the visceral function in the bladder or in the rectum. And usually those patients, they suffer acutely from edema around the uh, tumor. So that reducing the edema by uh, uh, dexamethasones and sometimes diuretics is very effective in reducing the symptoms. And uh, it is very important to give these corticosteroids uh, during chemotherapy course, because the, uh, sorry, radiotherapy, because the, th the radiotherapy is a trauma. It will induce more edema, so that you have to protect the tissue by using corticosteroids. Also, it is the same for uh, cerebral metastasis. People usually, they present with intracranial pressure uh, due to the volume of the tumor which is expanding, uh, due to edema around the uh, tumor, so that you need to use sort of uh, something to reduce the intracranial pressure and edema by using corticosteroids as well as some, some diuretics like uh, manitol. Also, radiotherapy for palliation when the, there are uh, pressure on the vessels. It, uh, and typical example, patients who suffer from uh, lung cancer, and they have a pressure on the in superior vena cava. This will inhibit the venous return uh, from the upper limbs and from the head and neck. So that those people usually, as you see here, they are congested, they are plethoric, uh, they are uh, dysnic, uh, and they have uh, these uh, vessels, dilated vessels. And usually, small courses of radiotherapy, it could partly and it temporarily improve the situation in case of severe vena cava. We can use radiotherapy as part of multidisciplinary or multimodality treatment. And it is a successful story in the case of a breast cancer and rectal cancer, not colon cancer, but in the rectal cancer, and in the soft tissue sarcoma. As you know that the initial treatment of breast cancer in the past was mastectomy, and then the people would try to reduce the magnitude of the mastectomy until doing just lumpectomy or wide local exergy. And 
the uh, prospective randomized studies, uh, saying that a patient uh, treated by wide local oxygen with radiotherapy, the chance of recurrence is uh, quite similar to the mastectomy, so that there is no difference between mastectomy and using uh, conserving surgery plus radiotherapy. And rectal cancer, as you know, you know, if the tumor is big, nowadays they use what is called chemo radio uh, therapy before doing the surgery. This effectively downstage the disease, making the uh, surgery easier and more uh, control, locally controlling the disease. Soft tissue sarcoma, also uh, the multimodality treatment, including the radiotherapy used in some cases of soft tissue sarcoma who are responding to the radiotherapy. Some of the soft tissue sarcoma, they don't respond to the radiotherapy, like low-grade fibrosarcoma, for example. But other types, rhabdomyosarcoma, sarcoma, the, the sarcomas with high grade, probably they respond to the uh, radiotherapy as part of multimodality. And we mentioned that radiotherapy can be used in the head and neck cancer. Sometimes we, we can use a whole body radiation in patients who need bone marrow transplants. They remove the bone marrow and treat this in the lab, uh, clearing the bone marrow from malignant cells, and they radiate the body. And after that, they will inject the uh, bone marrow to its place again. But it's uh, a sort of total body. Uh, From where we get the radiotherapy? What are the sources of radiotherapy? The radiotherapy usually generated from X-ray. The X-ray, it is the uh, the, radi the radiation or the X-ray is generated when a high energy electron fired through a target in an electromagnetic field. So that this will induce radiation, okay? And those radiation, like the light, they can be pulled, okay, into groove, which make it focused or port-like, so that it can be directed to a site of the uh, tumor precisely. Uh, we have three types of uh, X-ray: superficial, which has penetration in deep lesions, is not effective. Uh, by orthovoltage or deep. What is commonly nowadays used, what is called supra or mega voltage X-ray. Okay, and those are generated by a machine called linear accelerator. This is the general practice in animal food everywhere, replacing other old methods. As you see that this is the linear accelerator. High energy uh, electrons are uh, exposed or fired to uh, underlying net, uh, and heavy metal area. This will emit radiation. This radiation will be collected by shutters, of, okay, or making them to go into uh, groups. The other source of radiation is the radioisotopes. There are radioactive elements or material which emit radiation, and those radiations are the alpha and the beta and the gamma radiation. For the clinical use, we use the uh, gamma ray, okay, and usually the common source is the cobalt, okay, and the machine generating this is called T cobalt. But those machines nowadays, they, they are off practice by using the linear accelerators, they are not uh, no more used, probably they used for in developing countries, but in modern practice of radiotherapy, it is yeah, not used anymore. As you, you see that the telecopalt or the copalt, uh, radioactive copalt will be stored in this machine and it will emit its radiation. This radiation will come through slits, focusing to the side of the tube.